What would you call it? Your uh, secret weapon. Se Deploy secret weapon. It definitely is different. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. I've, I've said the only reason Zenas fly is they're so ugly they reject the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Clint made some tiny little, little wings. Little wings. Yeah. What the I heck? Think. What would those be for? I don't know. I don't see nothing. Yeah, I don't see any leaks. There's a leak in the uh, in the fuel tank. Leak. You smell any gas? No. Yeah, that's a good sign. The Thanks. oil's 30 degrees hotter than the water. That's odd. It, yeah, the water's true. running too. 200. That's not bad. I, I can't. Well, I got the oil plumb to the cool side of the radiator, too. You would think that the cool water coming out of the radiator cool the oil first. What's the water count? 200. 200. Oh, I'd like to see 200 on both of them. We got enough crosswind to try them things out. Yeah, we were just observing. When you're coming in, you don't really have any up elevator. Just kind yeah, of idling, neutral. idling. It's pretty neutral. Yeah. You don't have your weight in either, do you? Yeah. And we'll set the bottoms of these the, the same, same as the, the stabilizer yeah. for start with. Yeah. And we'll see. Okay, uh, I would maybe maybe do a hop first. Right. And yeah. just see what it feels like. <laughs> see if, oh, yeah, this is are. exciting. Should be for these. So do you want to explain the reasoning? So this Buy wasn't it. actually yeah. my idea. The, the the elevator and tail are always creating down downforce to make the wing lift and so it's it's adding load that the wing has to carry and at really low speeds with up elevator you've got a lot of tail down load to force it to fly slow so the idea is add more lift farther forward to reduce the amount that the elevator has to push down we're hopefully adding 40 50 pounds of lift up front and reducing some of the download that this tail has to push down. It, it just acts more of a stab as a stabilizing input yeah. instead of having to put a lot of down pressure. Yeah, hopefully it eliminates completely the need to have weight in the tail to fly, to compete. Well, it'll move the center of lift okay. forward, so it'll have the same okay. effect as moving the CG aft yeah. in, in theory, but yeah. it's, it's just an unknown. We'll, we'll know soon. <laughs> We're gonna find out. This is exciting. I don't know what you need. And um, what's kind of cool is they they just pin in, and the other really cool part how how Hal made it is he can adjust the angle. Yeah. So see, we can yeah carry the do. angle of attack. Yeah. This is pretty cool. You can do it right on the fly. Yeah. You're, at first, so, it'll be the same angle as the wing. As a tail. Oh, as a tail. Fine adjust when you're up there. Right. Is there any like major concern that you can think of? Um, I, probably, I, I can't if anything. See, I can't see it making it so you can't fly the plane. You need to go tail up, bit. tail up. Right there. About 14 degrees. Um, if anything, my thought would be um, if you're in a bind, lower it so it's not lifting. <laughs> right. Yeah, m make it so it's a negative angle <coughs> yeah. so that you're forcing the tail to push to down. The tail? Well, it might just be that you have to hold forward pressure because it's... It's trying to lift. I just... I don't really see that happening, but that would be that would be the, that would be yeah, the failure mode I'm thinking of. Need more crosswinds, what we need. Yeah, there's a there's a decent crosswind <laughs> out there. Seeing the trim tab tells the tale. It kind of gives you some. It really does. Info, huh? info on. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, he's having to add a little bit of up elevator, so we'll just have to take note of what yeah. it's set at when he comes back. Yeah, true. We'll keep him honest. There we go. <laughs> 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 All right, Hal, let's see how this is going to go. Oh, 
Yeah, I didn't know. It looked solid it looked to me. It looked solid. You were looking at the actual canard? Yeah, I was looking for... Yeah. I can I can see where it might give it a give it a ride. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is exciting. <laughs> I don't know, like because the uh, Cessna did this, right? The, with, um, like, the uh, cat mite. Um, yeah, the yeah. cat. Yeah. It was what was, was the Wren conversion was the original one, I believe. Yeah. The difference with theirs is they uh, the canard had a movable hinge on it on the trailing edge, like a like an elevator would have. The nose-mounted canard totally revamps the aerodynamics of the airplane at slow speed, allows it to take off and land in a much shorter distance, gives it extra pitch control, and it also helps take the weight off the front end of the airplane to protect the nose. And it worked with the elevator, so as you pulled, you know, up elevator, oh. the um, canard lifted more. Wow. So ours is fixed, but it's in-flight adjustable. Yeah. You know, where the neutral position is at. For sure. So, I, if it works good, I bet there will be at least a couple variations of, of maybe one that works with the <laughs> elevator. Oh, okay. Or I maybe see. one that's adjust, the overall angle is adjustable, plus it has a adjustable trailing edge. Because, as, ever, as we all know, a wing makes a lot more lift when it's cambered more. Yeah, for sure. So, we just... You don't, you can't go back where you've never been. Yeah. So, so here we are. <laughs> yeah, I think it's. I put a tiny little droop on the. Yeah, the yeah, trailing edge that. has a little bit of a. Yeah. You know, kick Give it a little bit more lift. He hasn't came right back, yeah. so that's yeah. probably a good sign. That is a good sign. <laughs> he didn't let it break, but. I think he's coming in. Pretty good crosswind right now. He's got some chickens in the runway. <laughs> got them. Oh, they usually move. Yeah. They, they'll be dinner if, if they don't. Definitely is different. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. Like a, a lot different, huh? Yeah, I don't know whether they're... What's it doing? Well, it's a, it definitely flies a lot flatter. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know whether that you need the angle of attack to slow down. It doesn't feel... It doesn't feel stable when you start slowing it down and trying to lift the lift the nose. Well, it actually does. It like makes it unstable. Doesn't feel as good. Yeah. Weird. Did you try changing the angle any? Yeah. Huh. It seemed like it helped if I dosed pitched it down a little bit. So it didn't like a lot of angle in it. Didn't like a lot of angle. Hmm. Uh, oh, interesting. And I think it knocks the fire out of the cruise speed. Huh. Oh, did it really? Yeah, it seemed like it. Huh. Wow. But in neutral, it, it just flattens it? Yeah. It, it Just your attitude? And I don't know whether this wind is, it's kind of, the wind is pretty bumpy yeah. and what have you. Make a good judgment call. <laughs> You're right, yeah. Yeah. You need to play with it some more. Yeah. And it's hard to turn when it's, uh, you got to really slow down to turn it. Oh, really? actually. Yeah. It up, huh? So it loads it up, yeah. Oh, interesting. Do they shake it all and, and... From the ground, they didn't look like they were moving much. Oh, no, they don't shake or anything. They're yeah, they're, they're solid. solid. Yeah. Well, dang, that was, I, we were hoping for a little <laughs> bit better well, it's, result, but... It might just take more, yeah. I don't know. More playing with it too. Just need a heavy light filming up front to really make it shine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Except that you can't hardly trim out, you know. <laughs> what do you mean unstable? Like, was it trying to? It just wanted to stall sooner? What? No, it's just it's, it just doesn't get in that kind of. Yeah, you, you're not slowing down and just solid, but they could have been the wind too. The way the wind was when it slowed yeah. down, it be all bumpy. 
to be all herky jerky. So do you, th do you think it's causing any turbulence? No, I don't. Do anything weird to the tail? Didn't notice anything weird to the tail. Matt, how, many, how much? How much do you think you raised or lowered the trailing edge? I raised it some. Did you lower it at all? I could. Uh, hard to turn. It was hard to turn. I'd say I raised it from there. Yeah, I don't know whether to nose it, nose it down a little more, and see what happens. Yeah, I was surprised how hard it was to turn. I didn't figure it'd be too hard to turn. Maybe the uh, yeah, center of it, but that is further aft than we thought. thought. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Worst so, case scenario, there's four bolts on the welded to the fuselage that. And one bolt here. And it, it, all it's, comes out. it all comes out. It all comes out. So yeah. It, it'll it's, add about four ounces to the airplane. Yeah. You know, of, of brackets. And you could try a different airfoil too, right? Yeah, know. you yeah. could. You could. We put it we, on upside down. They, you know. Yeah. You, you never know. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> well, the theory I heard is it should be a symmetrical airfoil. So I don't know. Uh, it's like most tails are symmetrical. You know, yeah. like a flying tail. I see. Yeah, but the zeniths aren't there. No. They're upside they're, they're yeah, they're, down. They're airfoil. upside down. They're but right. they're working so hard to overcome that awful wing. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's okay. <laughs> You're not the only yeah. one. You're not the only one. <laughs> I'm not the only one who thinks oh, that. Yeah. Well, I, well. I've, I've said the only reason Zenas fly is they're so ugly they reject the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether that ought to be put out there either. <laughs> it's okay. I think it's fine. That's going right to you too. <laughs> yeah. Well, I gotta go glue another aileron together. All right. yeah, I think I need to fly it more without them to know more what they're doing. Yeah, true. You know, yeah. And probably ought to do it on a calm day. Fair I enough. think we ought to put some uh, sides on the radiator and see what happens. Okay. Just bend a couple angles and pop ribbon them to the floor. Well, if anything, it looks really cool. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Those brakes were really good. Yeah. So the empty weight CG of this airplane is about four inches further aft than any of the Lycoming powered ones have been. Okay. So the tail's not having to work real hard in slow flight. And so the canard, you know, let's, it might not be such a golden thing for this airplane or for, you know, Rotax powered version. Yeah. You get yep. Well, different airfoil. There's probably just a lot of variables that really need to be explored to really know. Right, yeah. You know, like on the cat mice, they have the, the cambering. Right, they have know, an elevator. An elevator, essentially. Yeah. And so they can... And they'll work with the stick. They work the with the stick yeah. and... Yeah, so... Um, but there again, I guarantee you a big cat my cub with a big engine is pushing the forward CG right. pretty yeah. hard. And hard. you're not. All right, I'm gonna end this video here. Good first go. Right. Yeah. Well, it didn't crash or anything. Just about guarantee that for a nose heavy cub, especially one of slats, that the canard would help because it would shift the center lift forward and it would unload the tail a little bit. Possibly a very effective way to cub harder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. We'll end it there. <laughs>